Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now, I have been mining just a little bit. I've gotten up to 580, which is actually not that much cash. But I wanted to show you, we found this rock right here. Hold on a second, guys. We have an enemy on the way here, obviously. Let's go over here and kill him real quick. Uh, he's too close to our base. Die! Oh my god, yes, we want that. No, dang it, I always destroy that. Come on, kill him already. We want those blocks. Come on, yes, and we're destroying the blocks next to us. Is he dead yet? And he took pretty much everything with him, uh, except for a will, which we will take that. It's a nice big will. And what is this over here in the distance? Uh, we don't really want that. So let's see, we are going to go ahead and put this weapon back on. Let's see, what is this over here? We will take that. It's always nice to have an extra one of those. And we will take what he knocked off of us. Now, this is the, the rock I was talking about. I don't know what it makes. I haven't actually, uh, you know, shot this before until now. So I was going to go ahead and shoot it a few times, get some ore out of it. I can only pick up three pieces, so that should be good right there. And we will take it back to the base and see if it will make anything new for us. So let's see if we can get close enough to it. That's the problem with these tractor pads when they first start out is they're so weak. They don't really have that big of an aggro radius, but later on in the game, uh, it's not this difficult, especially once you get a whole bunch of them. Now this other ore right here is uh, one that I have picked up, and I wanted to show you guys a recipe with that if we can. But if I can go ahead and hold my cursor over it, it will tell you that it's carbonite ore an oil dusty fossil fuel that can be refined into an excellent explosive it can also be consumed as a fair fuel source for generators this other stuff on the other hand olite jelly a thick viscous jelly that can be consumed as a good fuel source for generators or refined into a powerful rocket fuel like substance so basically both those items are going to be used in either creating fuel sources or weapons and in this case i'm hoping weapons so I know that if you mix one of these, let's get closer so I can read the description for you. It's right here on the ground. If I hold it right, oh, of course it's going to peer over there where I can't see. Let's get a little closer. So plumbite ore used as the basic ingredient for such metallic blocks when crafting can be refined into a pure ignit state. So basically if you use two of these, you get one of these little blocks right here, these GSO blocks. So two of these ores will give you that. But if you do one ore, one of these, and one of these uh, carbonite ores, you will get uh, a weapon. So let me go ahead and show you that. Now they have to be refined. So it comes in here, it refines it, then it comes back out and, and is put into the fabricator. Now this is only a two-slot fabricator, like I said before. So let's see. It just made us a weapon right here. Now if I take this weapon off, if I can grab it. Oh, great. We got another enemy. Come on. No! You're not supposed to attack my base. Oh my god, this thing is too big. Come on, let me get in there. Come on, let me kill him. Kill him! Nice! Okay, you're dead. And I get another tractor pad out of it. What did we lose? It better not have been something good. Because I'm going to be ticked. We just started. Oh my god, we need to get... That's why I was trying to get some money so I could buy a shield. Or not a shield, but a guard tower. Because this kind of stuff will happen when you're gone and if you're gone when this happens good luck because you'll come back to either just pieces on the ground or nothing at all and I've, I've had that happen to me before and it's, it's heartbreaking because without a base in the very least there's not a whole lot you can do in this game to recover from that and so that's pretty much the one-two punch and you're out and if you want to keep going well you basically just have your bot and as soon as that is either damaged enough and you can't find new pieces or you get destroyed uh, that, that's going to be the end of your game. Now I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to pick the other one up. Now if you don't want to actually drive your vehicle over it, you can always put your cursor on it and drag it over. So I'm going to drag it over here, put it in there. I'm also going to put this one on there. Now let's move these wheels over here. Now what did it make right here? Let's see. Hold our cursor over it. Olice capsule. A capsule of refined uh, I can't really see the things in the way. Let's move it around a little bit. Capsule uh, of refined Olus will serve as an excellent fuel source and can be a key ingredient when fabricating jet engines, boosters, and thrusters. 
let's see. It can also be consumed by generators as an excellent and powerful fuel source. So, wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get another couple pieces of ore real quick because I think if I get the, the normal stuff, the, uh, the stuff over here in the distance, they may make uh, something for me that we haven't seen before. Now, this is kind of cool. This is a new aspect to the game. I know I told you guys I was going to finish with the tutorial, and I definitely will do that here in a, in a minute, but this is a cool little aspect of the game that I never really got to enjoy or experience uh, the first time around because, as I said, my fabricator got left behind uh, kind of early on, and I went back to get it, and it was already destroyed and, and disappeared. Or, or, you know, I don't know what happened to it, but I never had it to use, so that's one of the issues you run into. Now, let's see. Okay, so they, the, all the resources seem to stay on this end until they're ready. I have seen it. Oh, they're making something. Oh, that's nice. That is cool. Let's see. What is this? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. They need to make it kind of easier to, uh, to take this stuff off. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. GSO popper fuel tank. A small fuel tank to supply the boosters. Now, we don't actually have boosters yet, so I'm not going to take those with me. And the main reason for that is when they uh, get damaged, they have the tendency to explode. And the explosion has a tendency to take out most of your base, or not your base, but your bot uh, with it. So it's not something I think would be advisable to, uh, to have on your bot unprotected. And at the very least, don't have it on your bot if you don't absolutely have to have it. So let's put these weapons on the right way. Let's move this one around. You know what? I'm going to leave one of these radar units at home just in case I get destroyed. Let's move the... No! Undo that. What I was trying to do was take the weapon off. This one right here facing on the back. Let's put this over here on the side. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better. Same thing with this one over here. You gotta face that one. Again, use the scroll wheel if you wanna re... Uh, you know, put them, put them on and, and change the direction, basically, is all you're doing with that. Let's see. What do we got over here? Now, this is probably gonna be the payload terminal. That's what it's been saying down on the bottom. This is a incredibly useful piece of what is what is that on the map? I've never seen that picture before over here on the right. Is that it's an undiscovered block? Uh, I think it's a radar unit too. Well, we're not going to get that now. We're going to come back to that, but it's definitely interesting to know that's what they look like, an undiscovered block, huh? Okay, well, we are pretty close. There looks like there's an enemy there. And we will try not to destroy our block. That would be completely and totally horrible. Die! Nice! Nice! Come on, kill him! Oh my god, yes! Ah, uh, this is this is really, really, uh, not frustrating, but, like, dangerous when, uh, you have to l really limit, <laughs> you know, how many times you attack, and you're kind of just sitting there waiting to see, is it gonna blow up? Is it gonna blow up? No, it didn't blow up, thank you. Uh, so we did get that, finally, so let's... Let's move this over here. You know, I think I'm going to start going up, kind of like a, a tractor bed or a truck so that we can uh, simulate that. I kind of like the idea of doing different types of bots and not always the same one. So let's, let's move this weapon out of the way. We'll put this here. Now, the problem with doing this is you're going to add more weight to the wheels that are here, which is why I'm putting the big wheels here in the front and keeping the small wheels uh, in the back. Now there is an enemy close by and he can come over here at any given time that he feels like it and attack me and when he does I will fall out of my build mode and immediately have to start attacking or get destroyed and as you can see not all my weapons are in the right position and again when you put these weapons higher up some of them can aim down but some of them cannot and when you do that, basically, if the bot is too small, the one you're fighting is too small, your weapons will fire right over the head of the target. So you kind of want to make sure that you know how your different weapons uh, operate. Some of them, you know, like this one right here can tilt down. But these over here, these uh, line of sight blocked. What is it blocked by? Shouldn't be anything blocking this line of sight. These GSO narrow gauge coil lasers only fire in a straight line. So if you put them too high, you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of that. Come on, come on, attack, attack. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he destroyed one of my blocks. Oh, man. Come on, kill him. Ah, oh, dang it. I've destroyed so much of his stuff. It's rough because I want... Well, at least I got my block back. 
you know, he destroyed one of mine, and he gave me one of his, so I don't feel too bad on that one. Let's see, we're going to take off some of these wheels. We're going to put a big wheel here in the back, give it a little bit of extra height. There we go, and we are going to see if we can get out of here. What, we can't move? Oh, man, not this again. <laughs> on one of our playthroughs, when they added the, the new changes to the gravity so that your bot actually got heavier uh, with the, the stuff they picked up, it was a, uh, a rude awakening because before that, people were building these huge bots. I mean, huge, and having like three wheels or four <laughs> wheels on it, and that's all you needed. Okay, now that you anchor, dealt with the burglar. I'm going to anchor that back at our base. I'm not <clears throat> ignoring that part. I'm just, I don't want to do it where it's not safe. So we're going to come back over here where our base is. It doesn't have to be attached to the base, but you do kind of want it near it so that you can protect the whole thing at one time. So let's put this down. It looks like you found all the base bomb fragments now. So that's all the fragments there are. It would be a good idea to plan to collect them all in one place, which is what we've done. Then you can exp ex start exploring more of the planet. Well, even with them all in one place, that's still not incredibly safe. So all you have to do to use this, and it's anchored. I don't know why it says it isn't. It looks anchored to me, but let's move it around anyways and see if, uh, if it gives it a better, better spot. And if you right click on it, it opens up this little menu. And you actually have these little blocks that you can put down, or not put down, but you can buy. It tells you what the price is 200 for those. It tells you how long it takes to deliver. It's one second. I don't know if they're going to increase that that wait time and make you kind of have to plan out, you know, when you buy, buy or blocks and, and what you buy and how long you're going to have to wait for them. Right now, the only downside to them is the price. As you can see, any of the weapons, uh, they cost quite a bit, like 1200 and as you can see, we can make the uh, the ZK-47 light machine guns already, which is two pieces of ore. And it doesn't take us that long to get those two pieces, where 1600 takes quite a bit of time to get that. So I would actually suggest making the stuff yourself. I'm really interested to figure out how to make the, the thimble tracker pa tractor pads, because I could use a whole bunch more for my, my trade crafting. Now, you can also create more bots. You can create these uh, GSO Cosmonaut Sab Cabs, which you need for every single one of your bots. Oh, crap, we got two enemies on the map. Let me go ahead and exit out of this and, and try to go kill them. I don't know if they can attack me while I'm in my uh, my payload studio, but I don't even want to risk that. So let's let's get in here, see if we can heal ourselves up a little bit, because some of our bots, or blocks are incredibly damaged. And before we go and attack two guys, I want to make sure we have the, uh, the best opportunity we can to win this one. Die! Oh, yeah dead and you didn't drop anything they all die and don't give me any blocks i remember when i first started this game uh maybe it was like easy mode you could think of it as because when you killed an enemy they dropped like 50 60 different stuff what is this a bracket venture right angle bracket i i don't know what that is it's the first time we found a bracket before GSO wide gauge stud laser. This is a moderately powerful laser uh, front facing stud. So basically what it means is you can put it on any one of your sides, but you can't put it on top because it just, it would fire up. And you, oh, that's what it does. You can put blocks on top. That's what the bracket does right there. Of course, that's not where you want your laser because that's just be ridiculous. You'll be firing up. And as far as I'm aware, uh, well, no, they, they actually just added some, some uh, flying vehicles. So maybe you might actually want lasers firing up at some point in the game but uh, you don't you don't really need that now so I wouldn't really worry about it I would actually put them on the front so that they fire at whatever you're targeting uh, so we're gonna put this over here we're gonna have to move some of that stuff around because we need more space for for harvesting uh, here in the future now there is a bigger wheel we're gonna go ahead and put that on the back come on if they let me take it off there we go and we'll put this back here Again, this will give us a little bit more traction over these big hills because, again, when you have it like this, the front part of the vehicle can sometimes get over the f the, the hump of the hill, but the, the back part uh, has issues with that. What is going on here? I didn't put that there. That's just weird. Okay, so back over here to the payload terminal, for those of you who are not aware with it, you can actually buy the, the GSO blocks that you've discovered, uh, and they're all right here, all the ones that I've discovered. In fact, uh, GSO Multi Seeker AI Module. Now, I fought this in combat, but I haven't discovered it myself, so maybe you just have to fight it in combat. Or unless they're giving you a, a couple free ones, like the GSO Rotating Anchor. I haven't discovered that. Uh, GSO Delivery Cannon, I already have one of those. GSO Receiver Conveyor Belts. I may buy a few more of those conveyor belts 
unless I can figure out how to actually uh, make them myself. GSO two slot fabricator. Uh, these GSO repair bubbles can actually be put on your bot with a battery pack and they will repair your bot on the go so I highly suggest getting that as soon as you get a battery pack but you see these other ones are grayed out I can't build them I can't buy them uh, until I discover them but there's also a whole nother tab up here on the top that allows you to go to the venture which are faster blocks they're they're lighter weight and the wheels man they're really really fast if you guys want to see that go watch one of my episodes called speeding ticket uh, it's amazingly fast I greatly enjoy this bot I think this is going to be one of the first ones we try to get to as quick as possible but yeah I've only discovered one piece of it so far which is a venture fire or venture right angle break, uh, bracket a right angle bracket piece a sturdy and lightweight solution for when you want to stick that thing on the side uh, okay we're gonna have to experiment with that it's only 50 coins or 50 uh, whatever to buy these. That's not bad. That's pretty much the cheapest thing I've ever seen. So let's see, uh, Geocorp. These are the big yellow blocks that we haven't seen yet. They're incredibly hard to kill. And uh, basically, you can have an entire bot with your base on it. And this is the bot that you're probably going to have uh, with that design. And uh, once the, the AI is working, all your other little bots could actually follow behind you. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be working now. I believe they, they've done quite a bit to get all the bugs worked out of that. So we'll have to see when we get there. Now this is new, this experimental, the uh, experience standard half lock and things of that sort. I definitely want to try out some of these. I think basically it's kind of like a, a bug test. You know, you get to try out the stuff right now. It's experimental. And uh, later on, if, it dis if people like it and it actually works and they, they figure out what the flaws are, uh, they can take it out. So we'll just have to see what we get there. Now you also have a button that's called text. You can come in here and you can buy tech that's already built. You can buy a little buggy from the Payload, uh, Payload Studios for 6200 or you can buy another one of these little harvesters. Basically, they're the exact same thing. They just have a little bit different function to them, and they're not programmed differently. They just have different pieces. So you could build this yourself if you buy the individual pieces. You could probably do it for cheaper, but this is just here for you as uh, an easy fix, basically. So... My suggestion would be to buy the sentry towers. These guys will attack anything that comes near your base while you are not there. They're, they're incredibly good, and you can add blocks to them, and you can put on a whole bunch of weapons so that you don't really need a whole bunch of these. Just make two or three of them uh, around your base in the right uh, you know pattern can pretty much cover it completely. And as long as no big bots show up, and I've never seen one actually do that, you should be perfectly fine with these. You can also buy another base. So if you you know, haul this uh, this payload terminal with you to some other location and then buy this base for all these coins, that will save you the whole long trip of hauling every little piece with you. And that's kind of nice. Then you could have different bases set up all over the place so that you don't always have to go back to the same one. And I think that's going to help out in the end as, as well. Now, this other base is available to you eventually once you discover all the blocks. Basically, you can't buy this because there's blocks that are in the construction of this that you have not discovered and until you discover those blocks uh, it won't let you do it now you can click on the the little eye button and it will show you what blocks are in here and so far that I can see the battery pack I don't have a uh, small generator I don't have uh, shield bubble yeah I haven't I haven't found that yet either GSO wireless charger I haven't found the three slot fabricator I haven't found uh, I've found the GSO receiver and a GSO scrapper, I don't think I found that either. So basically, almost every item in here, I don't have yet. And so that's going to be some time before we get there. But let's go ahead and exit out of here. Now, there's no more tutorial left. Basically, this is free range. What do you want to do? You can come over here and start harvesting resources. Or you can go out into the world and look for new blocks or new bots to kill. And that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and uh, decide to do on the next episode we're going to go off and explore a little bit more i do want to do more with my base but i think my bot needs to be a little bit bigger and i need to be able to haul a few more items at once before we uh, really get into that so again guys i want to thank you for watching if you like these videos please hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and i greatly appreciate it also if you have any comments below i'd love to hear what you guys are thinking of this game whether you're interested in playing it they are coming out with multiplayer uh, i'm told pretty soon here and when they do uh, i'm looking forward to playing with some of you guys so if you're interested in that you got the game and 
and you're ready to go and you got uh, some pretty cool bot designs that you want to show off, uh, let me know. Let me know what you know names that you come up with. Uh, what are your bot designs? Which block blocks are you favoring more than others? Do you do a combination of all of them? Uh, it's interesting to know how other people play the game. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.